Welcome back to more here with Velo News TV, a very special edition and a very special guest. Yvonne Stevich of the Toyota United team is joining us. Yvonne, our current world champion. You going to wear the jersey tonight? Yep. Good. I mean, it's got to feel special every time you put on this, the arc-en-ciel, as they say, the rainbow. Not, the rainbow, yeah. Not many guys get to wear that in their career. Uh, in a few days, uh, Bettini maybe is going to stay with the jersey, maybe not, but... Uh... Uh, I have to wear mine for four years, so it's kind of a different thing. You know, it's it, because this is the World B Championships for nations. Now, can you define for me exactly how that works as far as, is it the size of your country or the number of registered racers? How do they it's determine uh, who gets in? It's about UCI points, how much one nation has. So first 20 nations, they're taking part of A, and we are all other nations are a part of B section. So. Uh, in B section, it actually is more uh, countries, so it's 54 countries, something like that. So it's a lot of. And so, and then on the basis of this win, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, what people have been saying here at Interbank is that you're the only person right now, not country, but person, who's guaranteed a spot at the Beijing Olympics. Is that true? Yes, not, not only me. It's uh, first five guys, actually. Okay. So, me and uh, other four guys, we go straight to Olympic Games no matter what. Well, that's interesting because that means almost that just getting in that top five, that battle between fifth and sixth must have been pretty intense out there. It, it was, it was because uh, the break that I was in, it was more than uh, four guys. So, you know, it was a kind of big battle on the back. So I didn't want to take a chance. The last time I did uh, the, the B Worlds, I got second behind uh, Murillo Fisher. Uh -huh. The guy, the, the Brazilian, race, Yeah, the, right. he raced with Liquigas now. Uh, I got second and uh, it was in a sprint of four guys, four racers. So now it was like five of us. So I was like, okay, I better not wait for the sprint. So. Well, yeah, I can only imagine that these pressures are something that I don't think a lot of people understand that in the back of your mind while you're racing, sometimes there's these objectives. But, you know, I want to take a step back in your career before you were racing in America and before you were even a professional. Now. First off, is you're a Serbian and you'll be representing Serbia at the Olympic yeah. Games and you've worn the national champions jersey the last couple of years over here in America. Sure. But uh, how aware do you think Americans are of the struggles that your country's been through going back maybe even a little more than a decade ago? But I mean, it was kind of, the, it was a big story here for a while, but in America we move on very quickly. Have you found people a little less educated than maybe you hoped or are people pretty hip to what you would have been through as a teenager? The thing is that uh, we are trying to move on too because so yes, you, yeah. wanna, you don't want to live in the past. But uh, the thing is that uh, past is always involved with the present. So it's really hard to move on with uh, such a big things like war and stuff that was going on there. Uh, you know, it's experience when uh, you look back, you look, you're lucky you're alive and you're like, okay, everything can happen in a life, so you have to be prepared. So that's one of the, the things you have in mind always. So everything else is like uh, not that hard. It's kind of thing that uh, Armstrong cancer so like sure. war like you know <laughs> the, it's, it's these struggles along the way in life that yeah, seem to create the greatest of chances it's really big battle it's really big battle because you deal with the things that usually during the life you don't have do you still have dreams about this kind of time in your life now i had really a hard time uh, back in the days but i have to be honest lately i'm not not having that you know when you pick up the life in a different way Especially when you're not there, you don't live there, you sure. don't have that uh, special feeling. But sometimes it's coming back, like, we get together, we're like friends, and we talk, and sometimes you go back on that uh, You remember subject. someone who's not with us? Yeah, so it's, it's, sometimes it gives you a hard time, but most of it, you know, like, you're trying to be positive and, like, go on, you know, with your life, and uh, that's only way to go. Well, I think there's no question when you talk to people who uh, watch Ivan Stevich racing out on the national racing circuit or winning stages at races like Nature Valley Grand Prix or Tour de Georgia, that was one heck of a win this year. But you, I think it's fair to say, in, in America we say happy-go-lucky is the term. And, and do you think that that is something that, you know, Australians also have a great reputation in the United States as being fun, enjoyable people. Is that true for most Serbians or are you unique? 
Of course you're unique. Nah. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, you're unique just like everybody else in the world. I think right? that, uh, that uh, Serbians are very similar to Australians. We like to live life, sure. to have fun. Maybe we're more similar to Italians because we live so close. It's a Mediterranean area. We like food, you know, we like to join the life. So I think it's, yeah, we're pretty common. Like a lot of things we have in common. So, yeah, Serbians are like... A lot of people go for like New Year's Eve there to have fun because it's not that so many rules like in yeah, US. Yeah. Like you don't go out at that time and come back in that time. You like there's no rules. You go and you come back when you want. Like the the places like bars and then they're not closing at two o'clock. So well, and t speaking about a town that doesn't close at two o'clock, here we are in Las Vegas. <laughs> not so bad. So that's huh? what I'm saying. Like imagine yeah. Vegas the whole time. So for me, it's like uh, people is crazy about Vegas. Like oh, we going out and this. For me, it's like a normal place to be, you know? Yeah, no, I can see. Like, so, uh, you, tonight the race is on WCSN and uh, WCSN.com with someone in Serbia, maybe friends or family of yours that are still back there, they could actually watch you racing in the Criterium. Is that something that uh, maybe you send out an email to some friends and say, hey, just so you know, I mean, I know the time difference, it'll be really early in the morning for them. Uh, on Friday morning, obviously, over there. But is that something that you ever think about, like using the technology of today? Yes. So, yeah, yes. Has it worked Actually, for you in the past? Yes, you, especially when I'm in a good shape, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of time, huh? Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm, I'm timing that. Uh, no, uh, to my really good friends, I always send like uh, links and stuff uh, if uh, there is any chance to watch. on. Uh, like lately, we have these races on uh, on uh, internet, so it's really cool stuff. I think it's really, really good because usually uh, people doesn't have the same channels all around the world. Sure. Like the channels that we have in Serbia, you guys don't have here or, or opposite. But so, we all have the internet, huh? Yeah. Right. Internet is the same thing. So you go there, link, same thing, and you can watch the race. So it's really cool. I, I, I appreciate the people that putting on the races on internet because that's the, the, the tomorrow, like what we're going to get. We appreciate having champions like you make, make the racing so exciting. So, And on that note, last time you're going to be racing for harm, isn't it? Yeah. How, give me your feelings looking back on the last couple of years. It was great. Mm -hmm. It's like, I feel bad because uh, we're changing the, the, the team directors, but it's no a part of the you game. You're like, it's like, because you, you get involved, you know, with the people and it's really hard, you know, but I'm happy that he now has a new things in his life and I'm really excited because I think that uh, the things that he's going to do in the future they're going to is going to be really good for him because I see him in that world also. Well, I, on that note, I think that's a nice way to say goodbye and I know you got a big race coming up tonight so we'll look forward. I mean, I think it looks like a good race for you. So, for Ivan Stevic, I'm Dave Toll. We're going to bring Tim Helian from the Tour de Nay out next. As thank you for tuning in to Vela News TV in this very special edition. And thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, guys.